Our camera lands trained on one man. Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. We're live next on EA TV. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It's Ukraine against Italy. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Ball back with Italy now. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Nicolo Barella plays alongside Brian Cristante in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And he's made headway. In it goes. An early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, let's look at this again. And what a one-two it is to unlock the defence. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, back underway. And 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Domenico Berardi. And now with Di Lorenzo. Berardi has it. Here's Cristante. Di Lorenzo. Well, there's the pullback. And danger still. Well, nothing comes of it. And support available. Brilliantly blocked. Barella. And there the move ends for now. Alexander Zinchenko. Brian Cristante. And now with Di Lorenzo. Able to get his body in the way. Effective challenge. Karavayev. Zabanyi. The ball with Sidorchuk. And moving the ball forward with genuine purpose here. Zinchenko it's a corner <laughs> taken short Zinchenko. Now, who can he pick out? And pure instinct from the keeper. Well, a top-class reaction from a top-class goalkeeper. Brilliant stuff. Well, opting for the short corner. Serhi Sidorchuk. Now Zinchenko. 
Well, if you're going to challenge like that, it has to be spot on. What do the referee think of it? And this ordering off could mean the end of their push today. Well, there's no way back now. He's really let his teammates down here. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. And he's hit it with authority! Well, you saw what he was trying with that free kick, but the goalkeeper had it covered all the way. He has teammates around him. That's really good and effective physical play. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Well, nicely cut out. Barella. And a chance to whip it in here. Can he finish? Ball is loose. Looking for someone to play it to. And a goal! The equaliser! They simply refuse to be beaten. Down to 10 men, but right back in this game. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Dovbik. Now Zinchenko. And using his strength to shield the ball. Serhi Sidorchuk. Oh, they have it again. And whipped into the box. Well, they can bring it out now. Karavayev. The ball with Sidorchuk. A real opening now. Oh, tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Well, he didn't have long to react, did he? But that's a top-class save, I have to say. Going short. And the last touch off the defender, so a corner coming up. Well, they're going for the short one. Cristante. Acerbi. Just couldn't get it through. Throw into Italy. Scamacca. That's useful play. Beautifully weighted ball. Cristante. On to Barella. And a goal kick is the outcome.
Serhii Sidorchuk. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. Well, truth be told, his influence on this game has been very limited. What have you made of his performance, Stuart? Well, he's been off the pace so far. He's struggled to get on the ball. He's not looked threatening, and his movement just hasn't been good enough. So, back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. Might be able to get in behind the defence, but nothing comes of it. Barella. Here's Cristante. Karavayev. Stopped a certain goal. Still passing it around with authority. And playing it back. Zinchenko. Excellent block. Bonaventura. And now with Di Lorenzo. And Italy giving the ball away. Breaking at pace. Can they use it to their advantage? Took a nick on the way through, so a corner here. And time for the change now. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Oh, a really good header, but the goalkeeper there's a cover-up. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? It's a short one. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Berardi has it. Well, conceding the throw-in. Good challenge. What a game we've had so far. Goals at both ends, some near misses as well, and some good individual displays. You can't take your eyes off of this. Superb effort to keep it in. Well, they're almost extending an invitation to have them come at them. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Can he finish? The save was a good one. Good looking sequence. How about the cross? Zinchenko. And using his strength to shield the ball. In search of space. Can they stop it going in? Threat over for now, it seems. Feeding it through. And danger still. And in the end, no damage done. Francesco Acerbi. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. He has time to play it over. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match.
Let's see about the delivery. Saved, but still a chance. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Yaremchuk. And that's very intelligent play to win back possession. Domenico Berardi. Can he finish? Able to get his body in the way. Francesco Acerbi. Here's Cristante. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Can they grab the lead late on? Barella. He's going forward well here. And pull back. Can he finish? Oh, what a save to keep it all square. Well, that really should have been the winner. But what a good save that is. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. And short it is. Moise Keane. Can he finish? Oh, a goal! What drama here near the end. They might be down to ten, but now they hold the lead. Incredible. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Malinowski. And the ball in behind the defenders. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Locatelli with it. And now with Di Lorenzo. Bonaventura with it. Di Lorenzo. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Moise Keane. On to Cristante. Did look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Determined defending. Yaremchuk. Now with Mikhail Lechenko. They get forward, but... And there goes the final whistle. It's a victory for Italy. Stuarts, what have you made of their performance? Yes, Derek. Well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It was so competitive for much of the game, but they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end. A great result. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent. And he fully deserved to score that winning goal.